I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithms and exponential functions. Here we have a multiple choice question log to the four log to the base four x cube plus log to the base two of square root of x is equal to eight. We need to solve for the value of x. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So since eight can be written as a base with a base of two, it's a good idea to change the base, right? So we'll solve by change of base formula. We are log to the base four of x cubed plus log to the base two of we can write x to the power of half equals to eight. Now we'll change the base to two, so we can write this as log to the base two of x cubed divided by log to the base two of four plus we have this as log to the base two of x to the power of half and this can be written as two cube. So what we have here is log to the base two of four is two, right? Four is two squared. So we can write this as half log to the base two of x cube and here what we have is half log to the base 2 of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So, so half is common, so we can take half common, rather multiply by 2, so we get half is common, and we get here log to the base 2 of x cubed plus log to the base 2 of x is 2 cubed. Now we can multiply this, and we can also combine the terms inside right so what we get here is log to the base 2 of x to the power of 4 equals to 2 to the power of 3 times 2 which is 2 to the power of 4 correct now we have log to the base 2 so so we can now consider writing this in the exponential form right so so what we have here is, let me rewrite. So we have log to the base 2 of x to the power of 4 equals 2. 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, right? Um, and therefore, we can now write this as x to the power of 4 equals 2. 2 to the power of 16. So that means we can find x as the fourth root of 2 to the power of 16. Correct? So x is equal to 2 to the power of 16 times 1 over 4, and that is 2 to the power of 4, right? So here's a typing error, actually. It should have been 16 here. So that's a typing error. So what we get here is x is equal to 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. So that is our answer, option D. Is that clear to you? So the answer for this question is x is equal to 16. So I hope that makes sense. Now these questions should be done without calculator. I would like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestions. The question here is logarithm to the base 2 of cube root of x square plus 30x is equal to 2. You need to solve for x. So let's try to solve it. We are given log to the base 2 of cube root of x square plus 30x is equal to 2. We can write this as an exponential equation. So, so we get cube root of x square plus 30x is equal to 2 square which is 4 and now we can do 4 cube so we get x square plus 30x is equal to 4 cube 4 cube is 64 right now that gives you a quadratic equation which is x square plus 30x minus 64 equals to 0 now, we need to provide the solution. It's a quadratic equation. You can use quadratic formula. 
multiple choice questions you are given 232 16 as your numbers which could be possible solution well that suggests that 64 can be written as 2 times 30 so we could factor this as x plus 32 times x minus 2 equals to 0. So clearly we have two solutions here. One solution is x equals to minus 32. The other one is x equals to 2. Now we do have part A as our solution. The idea here is to figure out whether this root is extraneous or not well you should remember one thing that the cube root domain here which is x square plus 30x for negative values this part because it is within the logarithms it cannot be negative so we want x square plus 30x to be greater than 0. So that is what our requirement is. We have to check if minus 32 is greater than 0 or not. So if I substitute minus 32 here, whole square, plus 30 times minus 32, what do I get? Well, definitely, this is 32 times, right? So this is definitely greater than 0 because the number here is 30 times minus 32, right? So, so it is definitely greater than 0. Therefore, this is correct answer. It is not an extraneous root and we get A as our solution. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how we can actually solve this particular question. Now, as an extension, I would like you to find domain for this function. So let me extend this, right? So, so what I will do here is I'll rewrite the equation. So we have x squared plus 30x greater than 0. I'll take the factor x and then within brackets we get x plus 30, right? And that should be greater than 0. Now this really means that we are not talking about a parabola which opens up, right? Whose roots are at? 0 and minus 30. So the parabola is kind of like this. Let me use a different ink. So it's kind of like this. Where the two zeros are at minus 30 and at 0. So the domain here is on the left side of minus 30 and on the right side of 0. Do you see that? So what we see here is that the value of x is either less than minus 30 or it is greater than 0. And clearly what we have, minus 32, falls here, which gives a positive value to your function. And therefore, it is the right solution. The question here is to simplify e to the power of minus 4 ln 2 plus 2 ln 4. Four choices are given to you. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. So we are given e to the power of minus 4 ln 2 plus 2 ln 4. Now we can use the properties of logarithms. Now this, think like this that is like 2 to the power of 4 right so we have e to the power of minus ln 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 ln 4 now that plus and minus means i mean 4 square we can take 2 inside okay so this is e to the power of minus ln 16 plus ln 16. Now what we get here is e to the power of that is 0. And anything to the power of 0 is just 1. 
and here we get our solution as b which is 1 perfect so that is how we are going to solve it i hope it makes sense the question here is simplify x plus 1 to the power of log to the base 2 of pi divided by log to the base 2 of x plus y four choices are given to you you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so before answering this question let's talk about some logarithmic rules so i hope you remember the change of base formula so if i have log to the base a of b i could change the base to even a right so or even b so if i change the base to b i can write this as log to the base b of b divided by log to the base b of a and that gives me that this is 1 since log b, is b of b is 1 is equal to log of b a right so what we have written here is that log to the base a of b is same as 1 over log to the base b of a now that's a very important identity which is forgotten by some students and that is kind of critical to solve this particular question now let us see how we are given this expression as x plus y to the power of log to the base 2 of pi divided by log to the base 2 of x plus y now this log to the base 2 of x plus y and x plus y here as the base will suggest you that it's a good idea to write it as x plus y to the power of 1 over log 2 of x plus y times log 2 of pi now look into this that reciprocal can be written as change the base right and the argument so what we get here is x plus y to the power of we can write this as log to the base of x plus y of log 2 times log 2 of pi does it make sense to you so we have done the direct application of this particular formula at this stage now we can apply the second the other properties of logarithms so this expression here which you see let me just highlight it this part here you can consider that to be the power of this right can be written as what just 2 right so we could write this as 2 to the power of log to the base 2 of pi and that is equal to pi does it make sense to you so option c is the right option so that is how we can actually solve this particular question so i like you to once again go through this solution understand the strategic step which we took to solve this particular question i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for your time and all the best